Two years ago, I talked to you all about Filmora 11, and now we're at Filmora 14, and so many new features are available. I gotta talk to you about them. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I am Joe Finley and today we are partnering with Filmora to showcase Filmora 14. But moreover, we're highlighting five sets of tools that are going to be absolute game changers in this version. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar, Filmora is a simple user-friendly editing software that has a huge library of presets and stock footage and all kinds of AI features to make your editing experience as easy as possible. Now, in this video, I'm going to highlight some of their brand new features. But if you want to learn more about Filmora, follow my link down below and you can learn everything there is to know. Now, the first features I want to highlight are their smart scene cut and multi-camera editing. Multi-camera editing, you've probably seen it before. It is literally taking multiple cameras it creates one clip for you and you can choose between the multiple cameras as to what is actually going to show up on screen now to do that in filmora 14 it's really easy all you need to do is pick multiple clips preferably ones that you shot at the same place at the same time right click and select create multi-camera clip now from there it's going to give you an option as to whether you want to sync to the audio or just the first frame of the video if you choose to sync by the audio it's going to find the beginning of the audio at each clip it's going to sync everything up from there once that's done you can toggle on on the select multi-camera view and then you'll be able to see the cameras that you're working with and just by clicking on each individual one as you play through the timeline you'll be switching between cameras and the good news is you're not locked in from there you can still make adjustments in the timeline if you made a cut a little too early or a little too late but this is going to really speed up your process and then you have your smart scene cut now what it's going to do is you're going to take your clip right click and select smart scene cut and a window is going to come up and from there you can actually scrub through your entire clip and you can highlight things that you want to highlight highlight in the clip. So say you want to compile all of the scenes that have a special item or all of the scenes that feature a certain person, or even better, you just want Filmora to figure it out for you and come up with some highlights. All of these are possible. So after you've selected your items and characters and all of that, then all you do is click start and it analyzes the file. Once it's done analyzing, you'll be able to select between those tabs, between highlight scenes, character scenes, and object scenes, pick out the clips that Filmora has created for you and compile them into your own timeline, or you can just load all all of them into the timeline and edit from there. This is something that's gonna be really good for montages, compilations, and things like that. And it's gonna save you a lot of scrubbing through footage to find what you're looking for. Next up, we have planar tracking. Now, if you wanted to get one of those really cool shots in a video where there's something moving within the frame, but you wanted your video to be on there and track along with it, well, that's what this is gonna do. All you have to do is select your initial clip, select planar tracking, and after you've selected the planar tracker, you've got a few options. So there's a simple selector that you can use, or you can go into the advanced settings and actually set the points yourself. From there in the effects, you can actually select the accuracy. So the more accurate you select, the more points it's going to try and find. So it's going to take longer to analyze to do that. But once it's done, you're going to see that tracking box move along with the video. And from there, you can actually associate any piece of content to it. You can have a piece of video, you can have a graphic. So for example, you could put a graphic on the wall and have that go right past you. This one's going to take your videos and make them look a whole heck of a lot more advanced. So get ready to level up your game. Next up, I want to talk about some of the cool new AI features that they've got. First off, I want to talk about AI video enhancing and AI voice enhancing. You can take any clip, double click on it and go into the AI tools. Under AI video enhancer, there's not a lot in the way of choices. You just hit generate. From there, it's going to analyze the actual video and it's going to make adjustments where it sees fit. Now, any changes made at this level are permanent. So if you're not happy with the results, you have to delete the clip and bring it back in. Under the AI voice enhancer, you're going to see a couple of different options that you have a little bit of control over. First, you're going to see voice clarity, and then you're going to see voice beautification. This is really one of those things that's going to be very specific to you, and you're going to want to play around with those settings to figure out what best suits your voice. But while you're in these settings, make sure to check and see what other kind of features they have in here. For example, under the audio tools, they have wind remover, de-reverb, all kinds of great tools to help clean up your audio. And then you have AI translate, and this one is really, really cool. So what it does is it actually takes the audio from your clip, translates it into a language of your choice, and then actually delivers it as if you're delivering your dialogue in that language. It even goes so far as to having a beta where it can do lip sync. So to do all this, you select your clip and you right click and go to AI translate. From here, you can make selections. You can actually translate your voice and caption or just translate the captioning. And then from here, you select your source language. So that's the language you're speaking. And then you want to get your target language. So you select whatever is available. So there's a number of languages 
changes available here. Then you have your auto match function, which matches the transcriptions to the timeline and your lip sync that's in beta. When it's all done, all you got to do is click on translate and it will do the job. So you go from having this clip. Amazing, uh, amazing visuals, a lot of like amazing sounds. It's hard to explain. To this clip. This opens up a brand new world for people. It allows you to reach audiences that you never thought you could reach before. And speaking of reaching new audiences, we're going to go to the auto frame and smart short clips. This is how we're going to take your video, format it for other platforms and use AI to find the best moments to do it. So to do this from the main menu, we're going to go and select smart short clips. And then we have some pretty interesting options here. So first we can upload any files that we have, or we can actually upload files from our connected platforms. So I could take my YouTube videos, load them up here, and then it's going to extract the video and bring it here for me. For our sake, I'm going to take this 10 minute podcast clip that I have. Then I'm going to look over here and I have some options. So first we're going to select our language so it knows what it's listening for. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to try and find the durations that best match what we're looking for. So the 30 to 60 second range, that's going to be for your YouTube shorts, 60 to 180 seconds. That's going to be for your Instagram and 180 to 300 seconds is going to be for your TikTok. So I'm just going to go for here for now. And then you have different themes here. So you can actually look for very specific things that you're talking about within the video. I'm just going to keep this one on auto. Then we have some templates here that are going to have some special secondary events as well as stylized captioning. So we'll just select this one and then we're going to go ahead and hit generate. And then once it's done processing, you'll see that not only has it reframed your video for you, it gives you a complete transcription of what's going to appear in the actual video. More importantly, it also gives you the opportunity to fix any typos or anything that happens because AI is not perfect just yet. And then you can play it to see what it actually sounds like. It's basically what is starting to happen in the real this world right now. Absolutely what is going to happen in the real world. It's in the middle of happening because like, think of the that No, I'm not going to say the exact adventure is going to happen so from there you can pick any or all of these clips click export and then select the social media platforms of your choice from here you can set your title description what category it's going to fall under basically everything you'd set up if you were uploading directly to the platform itself but this also has another interesting thing that a lot of editing platforms don't have. And it's actually the fifth and final thing on our list, a social video planner. You can export your videos and actually schedule them so that they can appear when you want them to. So by scrolling down here, I can see the schedule button and I just hit here and then I can select the date and time of my choice. And it even gives you some recommended times as being the best time to publish on that platform. So rather than going through editing all your stuff, exporting it to your PC, uploading it to individual platforms, setting up the scheduling and everything like that. You can do it all from here. Select one clip, export to multiple places, schedule as you see fit, and just hit the one button and you're good to go. So there it is. Five amazing tools from Wondershare Filmora 14. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments, which of these tools is going to best level up your editing game. And while you're on your way down there, you might as well hit like and subscribe. I mean, you already made it this far. Why not? Right. And while you're still down there, hit the notification bell so you know when I have new videos coming out. I want to take the time to thank my partners at Wondershare Filmora again for giving me the opportunity to showcase all of this for you. Make sure to click the link below to go download Wondershare Filmora 14 today. I hope you enjoyed this video, but now you've got some editing to do. So as always, my friends, let's get to work.